simple machines wheel pulley wedge you know what a wheel is it is something like a disc that you can roll on the ground a wheel is a simple machine wheels help to move an object across the ground wheels help to greatly reduce the friction that makes motion harder how does having a wheel reduce friction look at how a wheel is how much it is touching the ground only the bottom of the wheel touches the ground there is very little actual contact so there is also very little friction imagine pulling a gas cylinder around without any wheels it's not an easy task it needs a lot of effort is it easier when you put wheels under the cylinder yes now moving it around is not a problem at all why was it easier to pull the cylinder on wheels rather than the cylinder directly on the ground when the cylinder was directly on the ground the whole cylinder was in contact with the ground so the force of friction was acting on the whole base area when the cylinder was directly on wheels only the base of the wheels was in contact with the ground so the force of friction was acting on a very small area the force of friction acts in a direction opposite to motion it acts on the area that comes in contact with the surface if the area in contact is less the force of friction is less where the friction is less movement is easier a cylinder on wheels has very little area in contact with the ground so friction is less and it's easier to move it around that is why traveling bags have wheels it is easier to roll them than to lift them or just push them because of the wheels the base of the bag also does not get spoiled even inclined planes where heavy boxes have to be constantly pushed up are fitted with iron pipes that way the friction between the boxes and the surface is reduced the boxes slide up more easily we see so many wheels around us that help us roll along what did we just learn a wheel is a simple machine it is like a disc that can be rolled on the ground as the wheel is circular only a small part of it is in contact with the ground so the friction is less and the movement is easier the rod that is attached to the wheel is called an axle wheel axle a wheel and axle is a simple machine too a door knob is an example of a wheel and axle we grab and turn the wheel which is the knob the axle which is the rod turns and opens the door the bigger the wheel the easier it is to turn the wheel and axle system what did we just learn the rod that is attached to the wheel is called an axle a wheel and axle is a simple machine the bigger the wheel the easier it is to turn the wheel and axle system a pulley is another simple machine it is a wheel and axle with a rope attached to it many times heavy loads have to be lifted up but pulling down is always easier than pulling up 
With the pulley, we can pull the rope down to make the load go up. That way, we can use lesser effort. When we use a pulley, the force is applied in the downward direction for lifting the weight in an upward direction. A pulley can save even more effort when you have more than one pulley working together. By looping a rope around two, three or even four pulleys, you can really cut down on the effort needed to lift something. You can have a system of pulleys and make lifting easier. See if you get this joke. Alright, alright, you've won your bet. You can lift me with one hand. But as you increase the number of pulleys, you also increase the distance you have to pull the rope. If you use two pulleys, it takes half the effort to lift something. But you have to pull the rope twice as far. Three pulleys will result in one third the effort. But the distance you have to pull the rope is tripled. What did we just learn? A wheel and an axle with a rope attached to it is called a pulley. When we increase the number of pulleys, the effort we need reduces even further. However, the amount of rope that we have to pull down goes on increasing. An axe, knife or blade are sharp tools used in cutting. A sharp tool is formed on joining two inclined planes. Such a tool is called a wedge. A wedge is used for breaking an object into two pieces or to separate objects stuck together. A wedge can also be used to hold things in place. A needle and a nail are also different kinds of wedges.